a random montage out of the blue, I do realize. Basically, we just hit 200,000 subscribers in just over a year on my French channel. So we wanted to make a montage to kind of make the most of that, celebrate that. And I thought, why not also share it with you guys? Because it's the first time really that on YouTube, if you follow me on Instagram at Seb Delaney, you've probably seen the two cast together, but this is the first time we really showed it on YouTube. So I thought we would put the montage on here. And then I would also talk to you about how it all started um, and cost of what I recently had to go through, which was servicing the Ferrari. So basically I just had the service done on the Audi R8 and it, it was just peace of mind for the summer. Service was done. Um, I did a video on it, cost around 1500 pounds or exactly 1500 pounds to get that done. Now I was driving the Ferrari down here and I thought, you know what? I just want to get it checked. I want everything all the oil levels, everything to be topped up for them to check everything around the car. So just peace of mind for the summer, I'll, I'll be good to go. What's up guys? Uh, welcome to another video. Today, putting my car in neutral is what I'm doing. Today, I am taking the car, the Ferrari 430 Scuderia for its service. So I'm taking it to the Ferrari garage, but as you can maybe tell, it's uh, what well, is chucking it down. It's raining a lot. People are looking at me like, why the hell is this guy taking the Ferrari up? I don't blame them, to be honest. I've rarely seen rain like this in, in Monaco. But yeah, we're taking the car in for its service. Fingers crossed. It's not gonna be anything crazy expensive. You never know. It's my first time getting the Ferrari serviced. A little bit scared. Hello, hello, Ferrari. Ah, uh, 599. 430. 599. Very nice. Dino Lotus. Scuderia. Lusso. Lots of things. So I mean, that's that. The car's been dropped off. There's some nice cars in it actually calmed down a lot rain wise right now so the car was dropped off um they're just you know checking it checking all the oil levels etc checking just checking the whole car service basically also um they obviously noticed the engine light was on because of the exhaust so we're going to try and see if it can be off a little bit more so that when i'm filming there's not always an engine light and there's a few well one little area in the interior on a fold where the alcantara has come a tiny bit off because I'm like super OCD, it kind of bothers me a little bit. They said it's completely normal, there's not really anything they can do. Um, all Ferraris apparently get that after a while, but they're gonna have a look at it anyways and see if they can do anything, which I doubt they can. But hey ho, might as well ask the question. So I'll keep you updated on what happens, especially on how much it costs, because fingers crossed, I have no idea how much it's gonna cost, um, but we'll see. Anyways, that's that. Car dropped off for its first ever service. Brought the car in, and there were a few little things uh, that needed doing. So for example, 10 year old car, full Alcantara interior. Alcantara is kind of glued to like the roof panels of the car, and it's normal, any Ferrari really, with Alcantara like that, it starts coming un unglued. I hadn't really noticed it, but I'm sh like super OCD with that kind of stuff. So they showed me, look, it's kind of starting to happen here. It might happen a little bit more. It's absolutely normal. Would you like us to take care of it? I was like, you know what? Before it really comes off and starts annoying me, let's just do the whole job, get it all done, redo the Alcantara around, and then also while you're at it, service the car. That's what they did. It took about a week. It was done here at Ferrari in Monaco. And in the end, it came back and it was a bill of 1,540 euros, 1,540 euros for the Alcantara and the service, which is a ton of money. Obviously, it's, it's a lot to pay just for a service and a little bit of Alcantara. But to be honest, I was, I wouldn't say relieved, but I, I was just scared it would be a lot more effectively. Like when I dropped the car off and they kept it for a week, didn't really get too much news. I was like hand, head between my hands thinking this, this could be bad. Um, so I was in a little bit of a panic, came back and for sure, I mean, you know, it would be lovely to do without that, but it's it's the real cost of what having one of these cars is. I haven't had to replace the tires yet. I'll let you know when I do and how much that costs, but I thought I would just share this with you after showing you a clip of both cars. So service cost, actually surprisingly, of the two cars, sorry, is around the same. If not, the R8 is probably a little bit more expensive because they didn't even have to replace anything on the interior. So yeah, and also the R8, I didn't actually do at an Audi dealership. I did it at an Audi, these guys are Audi experts, but Ferrari, I did it at the the actual Ferrari dealership. So usually you'd think that would be more expensive, but kind of surprised me. So I thought I'd share with you guys because yeah, it wasn't really what I necessarily expected. So we then happened to have the R8, which had, which luckily arrived the day or the day after I dropped the Ferrari off. So I was driving that around for the week that the Ferrari was in its service. And then the day I went to pick the Ferrari up, I took both cars. I went with a few friends and it was the first time I ever saw both cars together, and that was a, a really, really surreal moment. I've come to pick the Scud up with the R8. First time ever seeing 
the two together, which is, I mean, at boarding school, I had both of these cars on a poster in my room. Um, so seeing both of them in the same spec next to each other now, oh, I don't even, I really like this in these videos, but I don't even know what to say. I actually kind of just want to put the camera down and catch up with you guys. Um, I, you know, once I've kind of taken care of all of this and gotten used to it and we can do a properly cool video because right now I just want to take it in. But both are great at the moment, so they kind of match and go together really, really well. And it was just so surreal, like being able to see both cars there. Also, like genuinely one of my favorite things was having my friends there and I let a friend drive the Ferrari because uh, he was insured on the Ferrari and because of UK insurance, it's much more complicated on the R8. He had never driven a Ferrari before and that was one of the best moments as well for me, just seeing his face and seeing how much he enjoyed that. And it happened to be about an hour after we picked the cars up, we hit the 200,000 subscriber mark on the French channel. So the timing was so serendipitous and it was it was such a special moment because I'd never seen the two cars together, I'd never even dreamt of having two supercars and that happened. And also another kind of big thing was hitting that 200,000, which was a really, really cool moment. So I wanted to share that story with you. I wanted to share the clip that we made for the beginning of the French video and I just thought I would sit here and, and talk you through it. But uh, it was definitely a, a fantastic moment and I want to thank you guys all as well. We're now over 190,000 subscribers here on the English channel. I want to thank you all for your support. Uh, a lot of you have been here for a really long time through different uh, kind of changes and, and techniques and styles of videos and of cars and through me growing up basically over the years because I started YouTube when I was 13, 14. So naturally you go through different stages in your life and those are all reflected through my YouTube. And I really, really appreciate more than I can really put into words. The people who have stuck by me, supported me over all those different changes. And I'm really happy to see the English channel um, kind of on the rise again and doing, and doing better than it was a few months ago. So thank you so much for your support all the time. And I really, really look forward to making content with both the Ferrari and the R8 and potentially some new stuff which may arrive in the future. So thanks for everything as always, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe, staying healthy, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.